Hi, I'm John Moore with JHM Technologies. Today I'd like to introduce to you the Infuser Aviator. It's our semi-automatic injection machine. I'd like to quickly go over some of the features of the Aviator. We have here the ability to adjust the pressure. This is the injection pressure controlled at the mix head. I'll go over that in a little bit more detail in a moment. Then we inject, we control the pump speed. The aviator has the ability to recirculate or inject the resin. So we can recirculate from the drum up to the mix head and back to the drum with simply switching the switch from recirc to inject. When it's in the inject position, obviously the resin will go into the mold. The aviator works in three modes of operation, manual, RFID tag, and automatic. Difference being in manual, when you hit the start button, the injector will continue to inject the resin into the mold until the stop button is stopped. It will track the counts, but it won't uh, stop automatically. In the RFID position, you'll see just how simple that is to use when uh, we begin molding a part, but there we take the tag off the mold, set it on the reader, and the operator simply pushes one button and the machine automatically knows exactly how many counts or how many strokes or exactly how much resin will go into the mold. In the auto mode, that's when we dedicated the machine to a particular part and the count is stored in the head uh, in the brains of the machine, the, the PLC here, whereas in that case, you don't need to even move the tag over, you simply hit start and the number of counts that are, are programmed in will, will uh, be entered into the mold. And that number obviously can be changed. So then the operation is simply one button, start, then to stop it, one button, and then to flush, one button. And flush is a sequence of air, solvent, air, and each of those values can be adjusted. Of course, always emergency stop if needed, which is shut the entire operation down. Now we have the ability to infinitely vary our catalyst ratio by simply turning the screw and moving the, the ratio along the slave arm. We color identify when we're in the red, that's typically too much catalyst. So even a supervisor who's not aware or an operator not aware of the process details would know that if he sees the catalyst ratio in the red, typically that's beyond the normal level. Green would be the most common areas of use of catalyst ratios. And then yellow is typically too low. If we're running in the yellow levels, we're often going to have an uncatalyzed or undercatalyzed situation. Stainless steel catalyst pump. 100 cc resin pump mechanically linked together. Five gallons of, of stainless steel tank holding the solvent. And then we've got our mix head, which is, again, just as it is here on the system. We have, I'm showing you here, a seven to one pump ratio. This is the size of the air motor relationship to the resin pump. That's seven to one. We have an 11 to one for a little bit more horsepower when needed. But then that is common on the aviator as well as our flagship machine that you can see on another video, the PRG, which is fully automatic. Again, this is semi-automatic. So we also have on our mix head the catalyst valve, which allows us to recirculate the catalyst. The resin valve, allowing us to recirculate resin or inject into the mold. Then once the components come together inside the mix head, they're mixed inside the static mixer leaving the gun head as a single mixed component of catalyzed resin. Here we have a very precise injection pressure control. Now we're the only one on the market that offers a pneumatic control that gives us down to the level of sensitivity we need for light RTM to take full advantage of that process. We have that here with the IPC. Then we have the RFID reader, which you'll see Don, our operator here, showing you how to use that with simple same buttons you have there, start, stop, and flush. Now, just to quickly go over the brains of the system, as it were, we also allow counts to be displayed, the elapsed time to be displayed, and the flow rate to be displayed. And it's that flow rate that sets us apart for giving you the process controls you need. Flow rate is the critical factor with pressure being the upper limit that we react to and the machine as you will see will automatically slow itself down if the pressure sensitivity is such or the pressure the injection pressure is greater than we've set the sensitivity to react to. So what I'd like to do right now is introduce to you Don Walker. Don's been in the industry for 25 years and will show you how to make a part using the light RTM process with all the advantages that come from the 
Infuser Aviator from JHM Technologies. So now I'd like to introduce Don. He's going to begin making this tub. This tub is for the medical industry. It's a cell saver uh, machine and this is a collection tub. It's already been gel coated so that's done ahead. Uh, it can be seen in another video of how to apply gel. So that gel is dry and to the touch we're not transferring to the fingers. So it's at a point where we're ready to load the fiber and I'm going to get out of the way here and we'll start the clock ticking to see how long it's going to take to make that part. Now you notice what Don's doing there, he's forming the fiber around the details of the, of the part cavity. In this case the cavity is a male 